Mr. Sister posed a question that is organ transplantation or donation allowed in Islam or not? There's no verse in the Holy Quran directly saying that whether you should give or you should not give. It's silent on that issue. There were various conferences taking place by various ulama throughout the world, including in Malaysia, in Jeddah, in Riyadh, even here, on this issue where organ transplantation is allowed or not. By the consensus of the ulama of the world, today they say that organ transplantation is allowed if you satisfy the three conditions. First is, the organ that are going to give to the person. The person, if he receives the organ, his life will be saved. Only if his life is in danger, and then if he wants the organ, then it's allowed. Point number two, the person donating the organ, he should not do it for economical reasons, not for money. Not for getting one lakh rupees or two lakh rupees. Third is, after the person donates the organ, it should not cause loss of his life. Today, science tells that there are certain organs in the body, for example, the kidney. One kidney is sufficient for a human being to survive and lead a normal life. The second is an additional. Suppose my mother, if she has both the kidney failure, and if I donate one kidney, surely Allah will not hold me responsible. So, but naturally, if it doesn't cause a loss to my life, I can't say I want to donate my heart. If my heart is taken out, I'll die. So I can't donate my heart. I can only donate those organs which will not cause loss. Loss to my life. And I should not do it for economical reasons, point number two. And third, it should save the life. This is the consensus of ulamas of the conference that took place in Malaysia, in Riyadh, in Jeddah, in India. In India, the ulamas were reluctant, but now if you ask the Fiqh Academy of India, even they say it should not be done. But if it is used to saving the life as a lost resort, you can give your organ as a donation. Hope that answers the question.